Hello my good people, welcome to Ticket Book Club. Today we'll be looking at chapter 10 on the book Fathers of Nations, but we're in a summarized bit of it. The youth, Nick, phones her immediately after lunch. Fiona Mackenzie goes to see Nicola Sentinel in his office. She is told to meet the silent listener. From the recordings on the silent listener, Nick says that there could be something fishy going on at the summit. A secret agenda by peoples whose identities are yet to be figured out beyond their names. There is a network of people whom he refers to as nodes. Four nodes are not connected to each other. There are conversations over cell phones between a man and four others. While the other man knew names of the other four, he insisted they just call him Guide, a fake name. It turns out the guide is a herb node. Then those other nodes are the four men, Professor Kimani, Comrade Melusi, Pastor Chumaker, and Engineer Tahir. The nodes are at the Seamount Hotel. Nick says he uses the GPS global positioning system as a way of determining location. The four nodes are not in communication with each other. All the four are communicating to only one person, their guide. The hub node. He is their leader. He is also within the Simon Hotel, second floor, central wing. Meanwhile, at the Simon Hotel's reception, hall guests are flowing in. Mackenzie navigates her way across the hall, dodging guests, and then makes some inquiries at the reception desk. It's later revealed the person on the second floor, central wing is Tad Longway. Fiona Mackenzie has come to check on Dr. Afolabi. In due course, she gathers more details about the hub node on the central wing, second floor. Using the telephone booth at the hotel, she calls Tad Longway. She notices that Tad Longway had dropped an article that looked valuable. The article is in her custody. She calls and manages to convince him to collect his article. He comes over, they meet, she hands over the article, she gives him a keycard to her office at the VOA, he looks at the keycard and returns it back to her. Mr. Tad Longway offers to buy a drink for Fiona Mackenzie. Elsewhere, Dr. Afolabi, as he is preparing to go to bed, going through the notes on the president's debate one more time, someone knocks at the door. It's Fiona Mackenzie. He ushers her in. They share pleasantries. Fiona Mackenzie informs Dr. Afolabi that she had tracked Mr. Longway and inquires if Dr. Afolabi knows him. After some hesitation, he agrees that he knows him. Mr. Longway and four other people alongside Dr. Afolabi walking from the periphery of the summit, their guide, want the summit to adopt Earth Alpha instead of Way Omega. The two are rival groups. The greatest challenge is that Path Alpha is not even on the summit's agenda, so Mr. Longway and his accomplices want Dr. Afolabi to help them get Path Alpha on the summit's agenda. Dr. Afolabi came to advocate for Way Omega and he will. However, in doing so, he will draw in other alternatives including Path Alpha. Dr. Afolabi, on learning that Nick is the source of all the information about the five people, his kin on meeting Nick. Thanks for listening this piece from Ticket Audiobooks. Be sure to listen to other audiobooks in the list. Subscribe, push the notification bell and don't forget to share with your friends and family.